Hey there, team, and welcome to episode 6 of the Arnorian narrative campaign. Yes, my lord. Uh, we last left off, uh, of course, having to charge out of Turretuan to face up against some goblins, but that does leave the settlement a little bit unhappy. Now, we should be fine, they shouldn't rebel against us, but they'll have a little revolt and, you know, cause a bit of damage. A few of them might end up dying, which is a real shame. Uh, I think our justification for that would just kind of be, since we do leave it alone, and you know we kind of just scatter to the winds some people do get lost some people do get attacked by wolves goblins whatever it may be so that's it's not so much the people are revolting it's the people are um getting lost and uh you know killed in the in the wilds around them which is very unfortunate but yeah i think that's uh, i think that's probably a more accurate description of what's going on for us anyway aragon here um we can't miss a good chance to kill off some oh dearie me lord eladan um, but yeah so that's fine we will march on down and continue to finish him off there's no yeah no we don't want to be we don't be jumping in to that like the affairs of goblins and elves are beyond us i'm sure that we'll do okay in a in an auto battle I'm really sure we'll do okay in Nottle Battle. Bang. Ah. We could have done so much better than that. Um, that's a shame. Glory, honor, yeah, that's victory. a real shame. Oh. Um, Lord my Lord. We want to have Aragon maybe march on down here. Just make sure that he doesn't get caught. If he moves straight down that way, then he shouldn't be in reach. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's not in reach. And that means that yes, he can Lord. jump in if the capital is under attack. And uh, ooh, we've got nobody else that will be able to, <laughs> but he will. Um, yes, Halberad, once he builds that watchtower, I'm going to have him do the same down here. Just Well, probably just in that corner. And then maybe one more there. But then he's going to come west and probably help with Dead Man's Dyke. Start helping to sort stuff out there. Lost Soul. Um, we've got a bit of money. As I say, it's, it's, it's different. It's nice. It's, exci it's exciting to have money. Uh, herbalist would be fantastic. Just so people can start getting traits. But I think I need money. I just need straight cash. Um, retrain. Yeah, please. Um, I mean, how much is that going to cost? Yeah, no, it's not too expensive. Get that done. Um, actual Cardlin Riders. Now, their charge is not anything to, like, really scream about. Ooh. Um... I don't know, like, I, hmm, I don't know, we'll, we'll see, I, I think I could really do with another cavalry in it anyway, so, if we cancel that, get, a, you know, Carlin Riders, and that destroys our money, no, like, we're, we're holding on for dear life, but we're holding on right now, so let's just, let's just keep on keeping on at the minute, and see if anybody has a building that we can make, um, how much does that cost? Oh, that's actually quite expensive. Right, no. And then cancel that too. Right, yeah. Lumber cap. I'm kind of going on the idea that I'm not going to lose Fenestrian. Uh, which I don't... No, I did. if Aragorn gets there, I won't lose Fenestrian. Um, not a chance. Diplomat. Uh, you swoop him with Dorwinian. I don't have a clue where you are. There you are. Uh, yes. Now you are on your way down to see yes. the Lady of Lorien. Um... Without and the Lord, person. too. And, yeah, down here, uh, you have spoken with Gondor, so now it's time to My speak Lord. to Dol Amroth. And after you, actually, after you speak to Dol Amroth, you can come up north to speak to Rohan. But then after that, he's probably going to hang around because he's going to be trading map information with them in time. So he kind of wants to be around for, for when we are able to do that, when we can afford to do that. Uh, with our with our allies, um, but yeah, nice. I think that that's an A-OK -okay in turn situation. But no, because I like to I like to see what's going on. I like to in characterly know what's going on. Um, oh my god, are you guys? Oh, freaking Bree! You don't have to do this for me. I really I love you guys. I really like you guys so much. I'm meant to be protecting you, not <laughs> not the other way around. Damn, like number one ally uh, right now. But yeah, okay, good. 
I should say that the High Elves are, are more than doing their part as well in the East, so yeah. Um, that's awesome. That's some good stuff to see from Bree, for sure. Just they can, if they can keep nibbling away at these little Angmarim armies for me, then then that's that's fantastic. That's all I need. Um, I'll take out, I'll take on the big guys, hopefully. Um, if they just smash out all the little boys. Now they're actually leaving, uh, which is good. Um, cool to see. That's a decent force there, sieging in Madras now. Um, I'll probably have my spy hang around, and keep watching that, just because I'm generally interested in it. Um, but yeah, that's spooky. Uh, once again, I hope that the High Elf army rolls up there and sorts it out in Ladras Besieged. Yep. Um, end of turn report. Losing money. Not good. Not good. Um, so, right. You, that means that you can return. Um, we'll send you back up to the Fort of Osul. We'll send you back up to the Fort of Osul. That's where you came from. You can join them together. And uh, head up the now. Um, yeah, you go there. You start heading around to join them. Because this army's buggered off, and I don't see it returning. Aragorn. Mm. Now, the question is, do I want to keep expanding? Or... I do. I really want to keep expanding. I want to... I want to spread west, start grabbing stuff there, but I don't want to fight Dunlin just yet. A Numinous, I think. We need to take a Numinous, and um, I think that that, I think now is maybe the time. Your orders, my lord. Um, so we'll we'll get this done. Um, yes, my lord. Your orders, because my yeah, lord. this a Numinous should be a bit of a cash cow for us when we do get it developed. So yeah. Um, but who yes, is going to do it? Lord. I think it's going to be Halbarad and um, Arafor. I think Halbarad can maybe stay yes, in the northeast and Arafor. The issue is just I kind Your of orders, don't Lord. want to get the uh, the Your like will, the conqueror of uh, of Anuminus on like I don't want it to yes, be like Halbarad of the north, the conqueror of Anuminus. You know, I don't, it would seem a little bit maybe too much. And I don't want Aragorn to get Your it Lord, either. I kind of want Aragorn to just be. You know, Chieftain Aragorn. Um, you know, he's kind of got a bunch of titles. I don't wouldn't want uh, Conqueror of Anuminus to just be slotted in there. But yeah, still. Yes, we'll have a move west all the same. Um, I'm gonna stick it's a bit you. of a pleb army. It's nothing to really worry about. If he gets too close to Fenris Druin, we can just kill it with what we've got, with whatever we have in Fenris Druin. Um, we'll actually leave this behind. Because it'd be good if they yes, get no. some melee forces. We're not going to recruit anything, but we could. Ah, sail swords, nice. I do like sail swords. Uh, very, very good quality. Your order, um, my lord. And yeah, a decent force here. Got some more guys coming. Yes, my lord. Got something down in that keep. Yeah, I think it's time yes. for you to just head west, no buddy. Uh, Halbrad. Get a watchtower. This tower will nice, be and then the we'll get a watchtower just... Oh. Come and get me. Okay, no, that's fine. It's nothing too scary. We'll put another watchtower like here. Actually, no, nah, we'll, get, we'll get one like pretty much right yes. there. That'll be, that'll be a nice position for a watchtower. And then that is us watchtowered up, I feel, and, and around here anyway. Um, always good to have a lot of watchtowers, but I think that'll be kind of... That'll be, that'll be us pretty happy with what we've got. Nice. Um, now, they did actually run north there. So, where are they? I kind of want to maybe go finish them off. Um, yeah, just kind of have them do something up here. Are you going to run away? Yeah, I knew you were going to run away. Loser, loser. Um, that's actually... It's still got a half-decent force, really. Um, you got something, anyway. But it shouldn't be a challenge to us. So, oh, you look... Oh, you damn scoundrels. Your orders, my now they're going to sneak Be around and jump into Dead Man's right. Dyke, aren't they? Well oh, fuck. That was, that was me being dumb. Yeah. Yes, my lord. Uh, yeah. Oh, well. That's Your the way it'd be. If they, if they take Dead Man's Dyke, I'll just take it right back from them, you know? But it's just going to be a frustration. Um, I don't think they've got a tent. I don't think they have to spend a turn building anything. Like they just can, yes, they can walk straight in. If it's if it's undefended, you don't have to like build siege equipment. 
Let's uh, zoom over here, see what's going on. Um, this army. It's not pathetic. It's not pathetic at all. So let's move out of the way, just make sure that we're not going to be um, getting moved by some elf as they come to reclaim there or fight from ladders. As you wish. Dol Amroth, hello. Here. Soon. Um, then yes, you over here. Run, run, run. Without run, 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 run. As you oh, yeah. I've, oh, there's so many choke points. Uh, like, it'd be fun to fight in Mirkwood, I think, just because the, there are so many like choke points dotted around it. But, yeah. Um, okay, okay. Let's see what these scoundrels want to do. But, yeah. Surely they can't just run around us like that and jump straight in. But yeah, I think they, they might be able to find a way. Uh, yeah. Ando and Vale, I, I'm glad that they're fighting Misty. Um, if nothing else, it just takes some attention away. But I don't want the Ando and Vale to start fighting Misty and then just lose all of their territory to Misty. You know, that would be really um, counterintuitive. <laughs> You know, basically just in case of, the, we, you know, we've just made Misty, you know, we've made the Misty Mountain stronger. Um, just by, like, losing territory. There are the goblins of, oh my god. Oh my god. It's got dunked on. Absolutely dunked on there. Sorry, Gobble. That's the way it be. Yeah. Ooh, I'm Um, I kind of regret putting up these watchtowers now. Just seeing all these creatures moving down to fight me. Um, oh, uh, they're happy to, ch ooh, oh no, Edoras sieged. Now what's this? Ah, okay, Carandros under attacked. Ride, oh, of course, yeah, because I, I came into the, I came into the weather hills. Ah, nice, okay. So yeah, um, deep in the mountain south of Edoras, near the front, sorry, near the fort of Dunharrow, lies the city of the dead. It's a pass which leads all the way south into Gondor. It is guarded by those who died a long time ago and none but the rightful heir to the throne can enter and survive. A long time ago, a number of soldiers refused to answer the call of the Sealdor to wage war on Mordor. As a result, they were banned to live in yeah, they were banned to live in the mountains and cursed to haunt the mountains till they fulfilled their oaths. Till they fulfilled their oath to the king of Gondor. This is the path Aragorn should take in order to reclaim his throne and withstand the forces of darkness. So that's kind of the end of that line, I believe. Um, and we, of course, get the Oathbreakers as a unit, um, which can fight with us can fight with us in three battles. Enid Wythe, I salute you. Oh, God. Um, but yeah, uh, so they will fight with, us, fight with us in three battles. Which is very useful, um, but because they're pretty much unkillable. But yeah, we will um, we'll get them, just not right now. Uh, right, right. So we saw there was a another Angmarum force, right? Oh, there's not many. There's only seventeen. There's only seventeen of them. Uh, th those halberdiers are pretty beefy, though. Jesus, ten armor on those bad boys. That's not fun. Jump on in. Um, hmm, that's a nuisance, isn't it? I think Halbrad's going to have to stay over here, in all honesty. Uh, that's a shame. Oh, well. Um, yeah, Aragorn. I actually don't think I can take an Uminus. That sucks. Uh, <laughs> um, but still, what we got to do is just kill this army. He's going to run away again. I think we've got to get back dead and fight. Yeah, we don't want to fight that. We don't want to be outside when yes. that army. Oh no. Um. Ooh. Ooh. See, the thing is, we can win that, but I just don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to fight it. Uh, if I re if I withdraw, then um, I'll just step back one, and then all of my movements finished. So right, what do we have? Archer, archer, crossbow, archer. We've got enough archers to kind of efficiently deal with this, I think. Oh, that's a pain in the ass. Gobos. Or like orcs, to be honest. I, I should have remembered they were there. I saw them move quite recently. Really should have remembered those guys. I needed to deal with them at some point, but I was just hoping that the um, the Angmarim would fight them. 
Now the thing is, they're they're fighting me. And the thing, like, I can retreat. Um, I can't. I can retreat, and I'll actually get a proper route. But the problem is, I don't know where I'll go. Now it's very likely that I will route back into Anuminus. No, no, sorry, not into Anuminus, into uh, Fornasterin. Uh, but it's possible I won't. So, uh, that's just the fear of it, is all. So, Archer, 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 Archer. Let's just get these guys stretched out here. Are these all Orc Fighters? Orc Fighter, Orc Fighter. All, all of them are Orc Fighters. So, yeah, it sucks, but... Hmm. Warden's there. Footman there. Oh, he boys. Um, they're just going to be going down, I think, yeah. They're going to try their best, but... Oh, you got fire at will, please. Yeah, just absolutely fire at will. Open up everything you got. Every every enemy unit here is the same, so it doesn't really matter who you go for. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, maybe. Maybe I can daisy duke them a bit. If I run at them with my melee units, they might start to sort of run around a little bit. And sort of focus on them, giving us a little bit more time to shoot at them. That's all. Because every volley counts. Right now, because every volley we should be sort of dissolving a few of them. Yeah, okay, good. Sort of is working. Let's go to one time speed just to make sure I don't screw this up, which I'm about to. About to, about to. I did, I did. I screwed it up. Try and, uh, try and keep on running. I screwed it up on that side too. <laughs> oh my god. Run, run, run. Uh, you guys focus fire here. Get off skirmish mode, please. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, charge him. Somebody's going to do it, then it's got to really be RF 4 Get that done. Oh, no. Journeyman. Oh. The crossbows are a little bit overkill. If you can just lead away that unit of Orc fighters. Good. Smash dead. down. Um, ouch. The guy that killed the general immediately went down. Um, no, you're, you're going to try and get backstabbed there. That's what we want. RF 4 Get you shooting over there. Get you shooting over there. Journeymen are doing their best. In general, the Captain Avran. Avran. Or something along those lines. Um, oh, come on. I was hoping that would cause a break, but it did not. You guys are going to have to turn around. Keep on running. 8% casualties. That's That's rough, buddy. Where is my general? So he could actually sort of go down here in this fight. It'd be a real shame if he did. Come on. The morale of these guys is just impressive sometimes. Good. Broke. Big break. Big break. They're gonna, they are going to come back from that, though. So we need to punish them. Come on. Keep on running from these boys. Um... Catching a lot of them there just from generally running into them. Uh, oh, we've got our three Breland militia that are over here. Um, they can maybe backstab those orc fighters. It's a unit. It's, an, it's a small unit, but it's still a unit hitting them in the back. Oh, it scares me how close they're just getting to these uh, these Dunedain Wardens. I just feel we should be outpacing them, but uh, we're winded and they're not. It's kind of the problem. Just come in for a backstab there. And that should be another break. Good. Run around. Turn around. Right. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Um, how are we doing? Might also be because they're sort of split up. Sometimes if they're split up, they don't really run as fast as they could. Um, hmm. Because the problem is, I need to I need to get some distance from them, or I need to sort of get around behind them. I didn't ooh, didn't expect it to go that well. Oh, that's going not too bad. They might catch me. They might catch me. Good stuff. Well done, wardens. Absolutely deja vu. Uh, it's not out of the woods yet. Good stuff. Now keep on running. You need to keep on running there. 
Uh, they're still fighting there. Hold your fire, hold your fire. Hold your fire. You guys are going to be saving the wardens when they come back <laughs> with that force uh, on their heels. Breaking down these orc fighters. Uh, should be breaking. Good. They, they busted there. Good. Oh, nice. Um, try and chase them away for a minute. Just sort yourselves out. Straighten the line. And be ready to provide some fire support. And try not to rack up friendly fire. What I'm going to do when I get close enough is I'm going to sort of kink to the, kink to the left so that my guys are not standing in the way of their shots. Uh, you can just kind of set on fire a well and, and shoot what you want, you know? If you want to go for something, then that's great. These guys have stopped routing. No, they've not. No, no, they're still they're still bolting away. Good. No, no, that, that started out pretty shaky, but definitely went okay. Still, if I handle this improperly, it will be it'll all be for nothing, really. Um... Got to get my footman back because we might actually not kill this unit here. Um, I'm just going to actually run past them to the to the right there. Uh, but with all of these units just rattling into these orc fighters. Oh no 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 oh, no 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 no! Oh cheaper sake, that was a I almost screwed it. Almost screwed it there. You can sprint on back, please. Um, yeah, we should be shredding them, and also just hitting them is going to slow them down. It's going to get us more space in between them and our wardens, which is awesome. Just more time for the footmen to run around. I got a volley or two into them there, General. Yeah, getting it messed up. Arch Militia should be able to deal a nice little blow again. And then I think, to be honest, oh, you've actually just run out of ammo. Good, turn around. And then it's just going to be swapping them. We've got a little bit of charge on us. Some wardens will fall, but um, once the swarm of archer militia appears, that should be game over. No. No, they want to fight for a little bit. Okay, fair. I, I, I salute them on that. Good. Yeah, we'll grab a few more of them as they, as they bolt, but we're not going to chase them away. Nah, no, no, we're good. I say we kind of want this fact, this force to be a nuisance for any advancing Imar unit. Um, but yeah, I was hoping they would just remain healthy. But yeah, like they were lurking around here, so they were they were always going to need to be dealt with. So now, you know, sooner rather than later is is fair. Uh, and yeah, de get back to Dead Man's Dyke. Um, but hunker down, really. Because uh, another force is coming. And it's going to be pretty unpleasant. Especially if they link up together. Yeah, damn. Um, could get saved by Bree again. Bree could come in and help us out. Enemy camp sacked. Um, good. And then, yeah, just get back to Dead Man's Dyke. Nice. Um... Yes, yeah, good. You can see now, now that I've got that, uh, a few of my guys are actually uh, free. So I'm not saving that much money, but if they were full units, I'd be saving a fair bit. And hopefully they will yes, be full units Lord. soon. Um, let's get you back into Bree, yes. as I say. Because that's... There's a few armies lurking Come around. They're going to be a while. Oh, God. Um, I think Halbrad's just going to have to start mincing his way around here and just really kill what he can. Very battle-heavy episode today. Um, oh, we should just all battle that, right? Yeah, two casualties. Um, probably couldn't have done better. Oh, I could have wiped them out, to be honest. I've got Cav. Yeah, no, I probably should have played that. Well, um, still. Uh, oh, damn, I was going to put a tower there, but I don't think I need to. Yeah, I think we're okay without one. Now, you can maybe... What do you want to do, Halberad? Um, I'd love you to take some territory in the north, but... No, because I'm just extending. I've, I've got more places to defend. Like, we just can't do that right now. Yes. Uh, they're okay there. They need that. They need those men. They need everybody they've got. Halberad, yeah, move, move back. And put down that tower. 
and that's awesome. Now, I don't think we've got any buildings that could benefit us. Ost Sul is a nice safe place. Let's get a Rangers Hall, I think. Um, doing a time war camp would be nice. Um, but no, let's probably just get out. Nah, M. Demas Dyke. Land clearances. Yeah, let's do it. More people. And, uh, more people, more population growth, and a bit more money. It's always good. And I'm pretty sure we moved these guys this turn, did we? No, we didn't. Run on down. Try and get out of that uh, nice choke point area soon. As fast as we can. Oh, we could have bumped into a door unit you know, there. Yeah, as I say, we'll just we'll run over here and get that sword because we're not really wanting to go any further south. There's nothing to be gained from speaking to Kand. Uh, Harad or Umbar, well certainly not Umbar, just wouldn't, uh, wouldn't be good, yes. would not be, uh, um, you know, pleasant always. So yeah, um, oh, Aragorn, now yeah, so you were kind of there, no, Halbrad has got the east, I'm going to have Halbrad be in the east, Aragorn, let's get you up in the north, um, yes. kind of try and see what we've got going on in Deadman's Dyke and see if we can keep the keep the enemy back there yes, my lord. for a bit with uh, with your talents but yeah because any battle that i've got halbrad in at this stage my anyway lord, is lord. is going to be a good fight we should win any fight that i've got aragon in again should be a victory as well so there's no need to really have them together unless i'm really wanting to have a tremendous powerhouse of a force but yeah um hmm. As for, yeah, like, I always like to talk about next campaign ideas. I don't know what I'd go for right now. I I think I'd want to go for an elf or possibly a dwarf. I don't really think the dwarves interest me too much, unfortunately. So it's most likely going to be an elf. Um, which one? Um, I was thinking Lothlorien, but I don't know. Now, I kind of like the idea of a... A high elf campaign that I really focus on on just being basically this this background figure you know kind of I take my territory kind of like what I'm doing with this campaign you know like I take my historic territory and then that's it from that point I all I do is I try to small armies small but incredibly powerful armies going around and aiding the forces of good aiding the free peoples you know that that would be that'd be fun i think and that's something i think could be quite useful too um that's where he ran off to the beach um have you no have you run up there please and do you yeah like i'd love to take it but no it's just not something something that is within my reach at this time Aragon, yes. move on north. Where did these Honor. losers go? We shall continue tomorrow. Maybe that's something Aragon can do. He can go and grab like most of this army and just kind of put up watchtowers along, you know, North Downs. Probably not up to this little bulge in the top, but at least to the northwest. That could be that could be what we need to do. Um, 103 sentinels there. Really beefy unit. You know. Um, which is nice. Anything we can, it's just kind of rangers holes, which are worth it, no doubt. But no, let's uh, let's probably get Ost Sul a war camp. Um, one of the reasons I want to do that is just kind of build up the the reserves early, so that when I can recruit, when I do have the money to recruit, like we're gonna be able to actually do that. Let's get them smashed. Um, there's so many pikes and halberds and like no shields <laughs> which is great like the um they're you know iron warriors or whatever they're called they're not iron warriors but um but yeah they're special guys iron crown warriors i think um are pretty messy with their heavy armor but like lacking that shield value just means i can abuse them especially on a nice flat land like this jesus criminy Armor piercing as well from my still bowman. Let's march back a little bit just to make sure we're using our range to its highest extent. Get them over there and get these guys guarding our infantry. So, right. Oh, um, what are you feeling there, dude? 
you gonna run away from us? If you're gonna run away from us, that's fine. But just, just why am I using? Yeah, I was having the uh, the armor piercing unit shoot at the lightly armored guy, and then the non armor piercing unit shooting at the armored guy. Uh, Iron Crown warriors are so few of them. Halberdiers, like the good thing is we can out we can outpace all these guys. Let's uh, just hold fire, hold fire to get really close. Why not? Um, ooh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's them giving off that volley. But hopefully they don't do that anymore. Good. Uh, I'm going to have these guys open up through our pikes right now. Because they um, that's where they're most sort of effective, just rattling into those guys. And they're also the ones that are really going to hamper their abilities after they use up their ammo. So I'm up for that. Um, get a little bit closer. Why not? Just to um, you know, mess fewer shots, please. I would like to. I would like to hit my target. Okay, they're coming at us. So probably open up now. And open up now. Get uh, get a little bit of distance. Definitely don't want to cat them to catch you even for a second. Um, that would just be curtains. You guys open up with the savages. Uh, if that's not who I already had you fighting. Because the heavy armor on those Iron Crown Halberds are... Oops, sorry, sorry about that. Uh, they, that's just going to shrug off so much of your damage. It's just not going to be too worthwhile. Radar Pikes continue to rattle into them. As I say, I'm just going to be running away. Um, make sure I use up like as much of the ammunition I possibly can. Um, yeah, take, take them down to a very low number. And then we'll have a good little charge in. And that should be it, sword. Uh, Iron Crown Warriors might actually be able to catch up to us, so let's switch the target for a minute just to make sure that they're goners. The closer they get, of course, the more hits we're actually going to be landing, so it's not too bad to, um, to let them get nice and close. Oh, they switched to focus for a minute to our cavalry. Um, yeah, Halberd's sort of goofing around a little bit. The yeah, Anchor Warriors. Do we just want... Yeah, give them one volley anyway. And then our Wardens should be able to like, quite comfortably deal with them. Run away, please. Don't get too close. Yeah, no. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get some distance. Get some distance. Um, not even halfway down the ammo yet. So we definitely don't want to get caught. I have the Wardens run off over here, see what they want to do about that. Savages look like they're coming in for some horsey action. Yeah, get the, get the charge onto those guys, please. Have both of these guys just barrel into the halberds for a minute. Savages look like they want to go for the horsemen, so... Oh, no. No, they don't. Switch your target, switch your target. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I don't want... Do not want that. Get back, get back. Do not want to fight the, uh... The savages just yet. Ooh, I was hoping I'd really mess them up with that charge, but they are they're good, those Iron Crown Warriors. Really are um, quite something there, so do not want them stuck in. I could probably just barrel through them with the Dune Line Scouts in all honesty, that's probably what I'll do. Just get them back on fire well, I want them to make sure they're using their stuff up. Really point blank shooting here. Um, doof, 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 doof. Still shunting off so much of it. Shrugging off, I should say. Oh, up, 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 Come on, move, 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 move. Oh, that was beautiful. That was a fantastic drive by. Anyway, yeah, we should be able to sort those Ankrim warriors now. Get, get back, get back here, get back here. Dude, you know, look, it's cruel, but legitimately. Uh, soldiers of Karndom have uh, they deserve no they deserve no quarter they deserve no respect if we continue like this we will um, smash the enemy uh, bu -bu -bu fall back fall back fall back fall back caught you in the wrong part of your animation there and we're getting through our ammo which is good um because once we get through our ammo we're we should be able to take them in melee anyway. Uh, the Steel Bowmen take out a big old sword. They're, kind of, well, they're basically like low tier wardens of the north. Oh, Jesus. These guys are fucking going for it, aren't they? 
Okay, get the get the cab back in here. We're gonna start getting some cycle charging onto the savages. Savages, savages. Do, 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 do. Um, open up. Come on, come on. Yeah, come on, boys. Uh, let's see. They they do have that heavy armor, but there's only so much the armor can do. Good little. Oh, oh my God! Well done, boys. Very well done. I'm chuffed with that. Did not did not expect that. A quick little chart, a quick little uh, route there. Let's let them, just let them get away. Don't get too close to the pikemen. Uh, you guys switch your focus to the pikes now. You guys get into the halberds. Uh, wardens, start slipping your way around. Start running here. Because we need to, we cannot let those savages get away. They need to be devoured. But we don't, the pikes are just trying their best to grab us. Good. Grab them now. That should be fine. Um, and then, yeah, no matter what, like we'll, we'll let them make contact now. Uh, whoever they want to go for. Because there's only 16 of them. Good. Uh, that was quite nice and efficient. 4% casualties. Um, should end up with this as like 100% wipe or thereabouts. Um, definitely like 99. So, that's alright. And, oh, they're maximum... Uh, experience now which is good makes them quite sort of effective um come on back change your focus with these guys uh you guys are over there don't charge them unless we really have to um which we were all good and uh, yeah hold your fire now hold your fire that's why i sort of ordered that cavalry unit away just to make sure i didn't friendly fire strike them four percent casualties I see. Hopefully, we get one of that back. You know, and that's it done. Be awed by Good. The victory we have won um, here today. Two heals from the wardens. Nice. Um, and they were the only guys that lost people. So yeah. Good. Um, Halbrad doing nice work. I want to check how long we've actually been going on for. I totally lost track of time. This is episode six, though, so we will see what's going on again. Um, at the end of this, this is episode six. I'm sure of that. Yeah, um, so we'll we'll take off all the war and, and have a look. I'm excited to see, well, I'm excited, but also very fearful to see how Khazadum is doing. Um, it, I would be overjoyed if I see, like, they have retaken Eastern Khazadum. That'd be nice. Yeah, just give these guys a Good. Oh, nice. To, nice, nice, nice. Um, anyway, right. No. Yes, my lord. Hold. Just sit on that bridge, actually. Yeah, just just sit on that bridge. If somebody wants to come at you, we'll smash them down. And this army, it's not going to be pathetic, no doubt. But like, I think we can hold it. We're gonna we're we're not going to retreat from the settlement this time. We're gonna we're gonna knuckle down and see. Uh, did we want to do a down war camp here? I think we did. Yeah, we're gonna save up for that. How long is that gonna take? Mm, oh down. Hopefully not too long. Um. But yeah, good. Let me just see how long we've been going. Good, yeah, we've got about 10 minutes before I want to be, you know, giving a look around. Oh, be playing Among Us in a minute. Um, fun game. I've been, uh, been getting pretty into that. Uh, but yeah, so, what do we have? Um, yeah, nasty boys there. I think we're just ending our turn. Good. Uh, Diplomat, oh shoot, forgot him. Maybe if he bumps into somebody... I thought we'd maybe trigger a trade. Uh, that'd be nice, but we'll, we'll get it sorted out after. We're not exactly in a great rush with him anyway after that. The last people he needs to go talk to is Rohan. Hornberg's already fallen. Um, I'm really worried. Like, Rohan and my Ended Wife game lasted really quite well, but I think that might have been because I was like jumping on Isengard a little bit too, and Isengard was kind of focusing on me. But, um, you know, that could have been it. But still, like, Rohan just kind of needs to do well enough because if Isengard starts mucking about in the west of Gondor that could be curtains for our boys um, right so you, you jumping in right now Lord Gobbles I might regret like memeing around here because I mean that, that flag is kind of full um, they might we just want to jump in straight away we have you coming? Seat. come on I see okay yeah, there we go. Oh, damn. That's actually quite messy. Uh, Orc Overseer's not fun. Orc Fighters, yeah, of course, of course. I mean, yeah. Um, 
for sure. Like, this is something of note. This is uh, not, not like a pathetic and armored up, armored up boys too. So we'll, we'll get it done. Um, see, how we're, see how we're getting on. But, um, uh, as I say, like, I'd always love one more unit. Just moving my foot mat down there. The uh, yes, yeah, so. you We must act and hold this turn Let's of see. I kind of like the idea. So that's where they're coming from. I kind of like the idea of, like, up here. And then we just have, you know, our general and our melee down here. Maybe that's a bit silly, but, like, it just means that they are not under any threat. And we can would rely on them to just hammer shots away for eternity. Spread out a little bit, too. How, how quickly can they run down? They can, yeah, they can run down quite freely. Uh, actually, they might... Yeah, yeah, they can run down there, so they're they're fine. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this out. It's a bit bit quirky, but it might work. And as I say, at the end of the day, we got to hold for an hour, so we might be able to just wait it out. Um, let's have you guys up front. You guys sort of off to the side. All right, uh, Urk overseers. I need to get them blasted out. Um, so many archers definitely a nuisance but you know it is what it is um if the oracle overseers go down and i manage to kill the general then uh this could be great if not hmm, you know we're we're in trouble but i may have gotten cocky here i might not be able to hold this off like the balance of power really is quite shaky uh how what's the range here you've got a height advantage oh no really is that damn i was hoping the i was hoping they'd have a little bit Better distance than that. Yeah. Ooh, that's really not so great. Um, maybe I should have just had them down on the ground. Okay. Uh, so we're kind of going to be welcoming them in. In all honesty. Oh, how's your arc doing? Probably not so great behind those trees. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Um, as I say, we're we're targeting the arc overseers right now. I'm happy enough with you just because you're going to be getting in melee. And you've got to, so... Our foe is taking they're control taking control of the city. Of the city. Oh, God. Um, open fire. Um, so we should just be able to shred them. From the mountaintop, or hilltop, even. A bold call this a mountain. And, yeah, snag a skirms there. If you want to just jump in a melee with them, why not? Squash them. S uh, fight together. Tighten those ranks. Snag of archers are coming around there. Yeah, if you want to jump on that too, close your ranks too. Um. Yeah, it's just such a great like position to be in. I don't know. I might come to regret it, but for now, oh, don't, why are you firing? Like you're not firing up. You're firing like a fair angle. I would have just thought they could have nailed it better than that. Yeah, they're right into the thickest snag of archers, which will, should hopefully. Be something they can butcher. What are you doing? <laughs> just, just fight them. Don't, don't, don't be charging like that. Oh no, sneeze! Come on, no. I'd say my sneezes are just a wee bit too aggressive, so I don't like to, I don't like to have them in, in the video. Jesus! Oh fuck! I was really hoping that. I guess it's the spear malice and such, but right. Okay, so we'll have one of them change their focus over there. Other ones, we got to keep an eye on that timer too. Um, yeah, when it gets down to like three minutes, that's when I will start to worry. What's going on outside here? Are they just... Urk overseers are sort of staying outside, which I mean, I'm grateful for. I'm just kind of confused by it. Um, yeah, damn. Poor, poor freaking Breland Militia over here. I really, I was hoping they would do better. Um, they're getting a lot of fire support now. Get both boys opening up and we should just dissolve that force. Yeah, no point in shooting the golden band. That was a mistake. Yeah, bodyguard, once they get that done, they'll push in toward the center and hold it, so hopefully stop that counter. Uh, but the goblin band are coming at them now. Fuck. Because um, we need to, we can't let that count down. That would be a real shame to lose like that. If I lose, like, every man goes down, I'll be upset, but like, you know, that's the way it goes. General is bloodied. Not good. 
Don't like my generals bloodied. Okay, good. Well, it's, it sucks that they've come for the for the Breland boys, but um, if they're leaving my general, then that means my general can run into the center in a minute. All we need to do is like stop that counter. Holy fool! Oh, fuck! 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 They're rushing on in now. Um, yeah. Okay. The the Breland militia have done their very best. Oh, nice. Good. Um, now you've kind of just got to go up and. and make contact with them. Give... No, don't give the snag skirmishers any volleys. Just hope they fucking break. Uh, they're not breaking, but we've kind of just got to run through them. Make sure we stop that counter before the reinforcements arrive. Uh, you're not, like, loving that run through, are you? Just stop and just everybody kill one of them. Yeah, a lot of casualties just caused from being from running through. Goblin band dissolving, dissolving and broken. Push, push, push. Stop that counter, stop that counter. Ay, 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 ay. I don't know if that's. I, that's not. Thank God. Didn't think that would stop the counter. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! It's orc hunters though. Uh, let's get one of them to open up on that. Like, by open up, I mean charge. Because if we get a downhill charge on Orc Hunters with my Woodland Hunters, <laughs> might be okay. Uh, give a blow of that horn. Next, you guys up there, you are just opening up into this. Hopefully, not racking up too much friendly fire, are you? Uh, you're getting a few shots of friendly fire, is it too much? Can you shoot them? You can. Do that instead. Damn, they're not enjoying that flight. Really, I, I, I would have thought it would be okay. Um, the feet is certain for the guys in the center. Bring my bodyguard. I think this general is going to go down, unfortunately. Um, it's going to be a real shame if I liked. Ah, uh, wait. Oh, okay. I guess, I guess, it's him with the. I guess he's the two-handed axe, uh, two-handed swordsman. He's not the. Uh, he's not the captain. He's the captain of the unit with the sword and shield. Well, I mean, that's good. Um, so he is still around, but for how long? We need to cleanse this. And then... Good, they're all... I mm, don't know how long they've really got. Then we can turn our focus back toward the centers. There's only 133 orc fighters. Let's... No, no, you need to, you need to wipe this out. Give them some more volleys. You're almost out of ammo, really. So, um, so you need to free these guys up so they can actually use their ammo. They're okay right now, but I can see that just changing when the general goes down. He's just hitting orc fighters, and you've got to keep in mind that like, we've still got those 53 orc, orc overseers. Um, if we still have the Dunedain bodyguards at the end of this. I will use the Dunedain bodyguards to shoot the Orc overseers, but I can't, you know, I can't rely on woodland hunters to kill them in melee. Not a chance. Even at range, those guys have a little bit of armor. Oh no, uh, I'm thinking of actually falling back with the. Yeah, we've got time. We've got time. Can you get out of there, General? Oh no, you're synchronized killing, like I appreciate it, but you're forcing yourself right into the center of that blob. Um, where's he going? Oh! Um, so, oh shit. Um, oh, that's crap. Yeah, that's not good. Um, because the, the general is split from, oh no, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, I fucked that. I was giving orders to the wrong unit. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't lose like this. Oh, don't lose because of that. Fuck. Oh, no. I was wondering why I wasn't responding. I thought it was just because it was tricky. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, you, you guys are done. So you guys try and trade places. But it's just 23 guys. Like, they're not even 19 there. They're not going to be able to put out enough DPS to to fix this situation. Are you able to worm your way through this? Um, I don't 
don't think he's going to be able to get out. Nah, I think he's, well, he's, one thing he's kind of happy enough just fighting his way, like fighting his ass out down there. But just being surrounded in the way that he is, it's not going to turn out okay. I think he's just going to fight it out to the end. That's a shame. Um, a few arrows coming in to back him up, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Oh, oh, is he trying? He's trying. Run, get out of there. Push them out, push them out. Good, good, good. good. Oh, fuck. Ah, damn it. He was almost out. I'm sorry, Hemmermere. The enemy is no longer in command of the city. Right, that's them broken. Though. Our enemy has command of the city. Try and chase some of these guys down. Um, they're just gonna be opening up. It's it's the problem. It's 53 orc overseers. They're just they're not gonna go down easy in melee. Um, armor piercing for what little armor I have. Uh, I, th I think they look like they're armor piercing. Lots of maces and hammers and such. They might not be, but. Um, we're just chasing some of these guys out. Uh, if we get a side slam into the orc, orc fighters, maybe. Um, maybe we can cause a bit of a break, but with orc overseers, like I had this with my war channels for the, uh, the enemy is no longer grand in wife. Of the city. Uh, we just sort of did a quick steal just to reset the clock. It's just 11 archers, like, it's not going to fix anything, even if they get off all their shots. Hmm. I think. If I had a tower somewhere, you know, just like pecking away at them, then maybe, but the fact that these guys are just. They're just not going to do enough. They're all. Oh no, they've got one captain there. But yeah, if they were all archers, <laughs> probably wouldn't do too much difference anyway. Uh, just hold your possession there. Um, I'm just dabbling to see if there's any chance I can win. Um, get, a, get a charge into the back of these orc fighters and then the see no what happens there. The the, yeah, no. Nah, my only chance would have been to see if they had broken with that charge. Maybe. Maybe that could have fixed it. But still, my guy's going to fight to the death here in the center so you know it's something they got a good little charge on there but no that, that's gonna be it done we took out the general hey um i mean they're not they're not locked morale here so uh overseers though i suspect have pretty good morale <laughs> so yeah i don't i don't see them going down switch your target to the overseers please um yeah no. it's gonna be close like but no, had I not done that, had I not screwed up with the with the clicking there, um, genuinely think that could have been a victory. Like I really think it could have been. Um, that's a shame. Uh, but no, hey, I mean we've got to get these ups and downs and such. So yeah, uh, we'll just run that to the finish just to you know, rack up a few more kills make sure we Our get as many of these bloody of goblins the dead as we possibly can uh yeah as i say i think it was just oh, wait, where are you going tired. where are you running off to they're just sort of sitting in the center damn there's so few orc fighters only f yeah they, they killed really a lot of these guys in melee i was i was chuffed with that keep your keep your sights on the right, overseers for now they're gonna lose the center or, no, they, it, I have to basically take it. They're coming around to face me. Uh, no, I don't know what to do. The enemy is no longer, mm. our enemy has command of the city. Yeah, they're goofing around. Let's see if I had a tower. Just pinging away at them would be not a problem, but no. Um, no, I'm just, I'm, I'm dragging this out unnecessarily now. Get a charge down. Wipe out this unit of orc fighters, maybe, if you can. Um, you should. Uh, um, should be okay. Doof, doof, doof. Ooh. Nice. The enemy is no longer in Our enemy has yeah, command broke of them. The city. And then we'll just get down here and unleash point blank fire on the overseers until they fight us. <laughs> That's just the way it's gonna be. Um yeah, just open up. 
because they've got they've got a decent amount of damage on their bows um it's yeah it's just chanting away we're shooting them in the back um if i had like a lot more ammo maybe this could be done um but you can just see their armor jesus oh one uh two uh three maybe no i oh, know i'll take out a few more um but no that was a it was a good little battle um so after this battle we'll run through the uh fog of war and see how the rest of the world is doing um halberad's gonna have to come down and fix this isn't he and then halberad's gonna just kind of have to block this up Shit. um yeah that's a shame but we didn't know we're dropping them yeah, oh, damn, damn. Oh. Oh. How do we get? Yeah, Woodland Hunters, they're really racking up some kills. Experience lost across the board. Uh, I think that's the first general we've lost. Um, Halver Um Such a shame. But yeah. Um, nah, like, I just saw it coming. I, I could have done that. I could have won that. But just got a little bit too cocky, maybe and um screwed around with my you know just got a bit too focused on the battle and not enough on my actual unit control um i think maybe like i get a bit too focused and actually like trying to save my generals when the better thing to do is just let them fight it out because they might end up winning uh rather than like if i get too dedicated in trying to get them out of the fight they end up um you know they end up dying that way so maybe that's something I should think about. Oh dear, Angmar breaking them down. Oh, oh, that's the. Oh god, damn! This is a freaking all over assault. Um, that's the Orcish general. They get like one orc general. It starts like Mount Graham. Um, so that's him there. Okay, I uh, I wouldn't mind bringing him down. But as I say, the defenders that I have in the north here are, yeah, Prangu the bloody. He's got like a he's got wargs yeah my grand raiders um so we need to if they if they attack us in Deadman's dyke maybe we can do okay especially with aragon actually um yeah like do we want to just jump aragon into there oh god damn it's all over the north they're coming in isn't it um halberad do you want to sort this or what do you I think what I want to do with Halberad is just have him Oh god, oh yeah, they got chased away. Um what we'll do, Halberad, you're gonna start making your way from the from the east to the west, just killing these armies as you do. Um because you're gonna do that, Ara 4 is gonna be freed up to come down and wipe this out. I'm sure that there are not many defenders left there so let's just go down and do that uh we've got a few guys here just defending the capital in case of incursion let's get this switch to growth again run through our relations changed um yeah him Ramir, uh, him sorry him Ramir, not hill maria uh, then yeah done that Settlement occupied. Forces melt away. Oh yeah, yeah. So good. Um, let me just set up for that, just so I don't forget what I'm doing. Um, really, just come up here. Like, if hopefully they'll just be like, oh, here's Halberad. Let's let's stab him. And he just sort of starts wiping people out. Um, Aragon, yes. just get into Dead Man's Dyke, just because I feel that they're going to want to smash it, especially with Drangu's army. Um, because that's quite nasty, no doubt. Um, if they come down to Bree, I'm going to have to do something about it. I'm going to have to come down and, and, and blast them out. But yeah, let's get a Dunedain war camp there, as I say, just so that we're prepared to produce troops when we are, uh, or when we can. Um, everything else, well, there's no, got no more money. Uh, let's see about maybe getting a bit of retraining done. Um... Yeah, get retraining done for both of you. And that'd be great. Then, um, nice. Finally, uh, let's get that fog of war turned off. So, uh, zooming on in. 
That's it's nice. <laughs> I've not expanded, of course. Uh, doesn't look like... Oh, it does, actually. Aymar has expanded into the fields of Arthodine. Um, ooh, yo, yo, yo. Just scanning over, as I say, I don't want to like spend too much of my focus looking at what Angmar's up to, because oh, come on, dudes. Ach, sorry, my lord. I'm no I know, I know, okay. you're sorry, but just push west, push fully east, not west. Sorry, push east. You need to get over there. You need to help me out. Um, but yeah, looking at that. Oh. Yes, I know. Um, Bree took under terrors. Ah. Like, I want to buy, actually, eh. I don't know, I'd like to buy Under Towers myself. Uh, it's, wait, actually, no, no, because it is, I don't think Under Towers is part of the Shire, it's not, like, it's definitely not. Uh, actually, maybe, but I'd like to own it anyway. I want, I only want Bree to have Mikkel Delving, Hobbiton, uh, Longbottom, and Bree. That's the end game for them, so I will buy Under Towers from them. It's nice that they have expanded. I just hope to bloody heck that they don't grab a Numinous from me. <laughs> That'd be a real pain in the ass. Got no real expansion from er uh, Enid Wythe. They're grabbing Siduri, but um, <laughs> there's a big, uh, oh, sorry, big Dunland army just hanging around next to them. Dunland is just spamming troops out, but yeah, uh, that is their nature as wild men. Another spamming troops out force are, of course, the Misty Mountains. Uh, scanning over them. Nothing too much. Oh, good. Uh, they grabbed Kazadum again, but they are not looking too healthy, in all honesty. They own it, but I don't know if they can hold it. Um, Conqueror of Goblin Town. So, obviously, Goblin Town fell, and they had to take it back. And, oh, dearie me. Um, yeah, well, let's let's move up first. Good and bad. Gundabad, who's this? Bree! What are you doing, Bree? Don't trade with Gundabad. Um, but yeah. So looking down the Anduin Vale. Anduin's not doing too well. Yeah, you see, this is not what I wanted. Oh, no, they're really not doing too hot. I didn't want them to have to join a war that was going to, like, end up, help, you know, making them lose. No, Dale, uh, not Dale. Uh, Erebor. What the hell? What are, you, what are you doing all the way around here? He's the king. The king is by himself in the north of Erebor. Oh, that, I mean, that's bold. I like that. It's pretty in character for, like, a, a Gundabad orc, in all honesty. Just to be sort of out by yourself, just roaming in enemy territory. I appreciate it. Um, Dorwinian spread really far west, actually. That's nice. I, you know, I, I hope Dorwinian does become quite a powerhouse and kind of deals with Rune. But what is a freaking major powerhouse is goddamn uh, Gondor right now. They're continuing to like hold this territory. They've, you know, Osgiliath is just like hanging out. Every, you know, every turn that they hold all this territory is another turn that they just get that sweet ass money, that they're just more solid and prepared and holding out. Um, yeah, Dol Amroth too. Baradharn, you know, I mean, we're covered in pirates in Gobalt Ulfalas, but like they look like they're holding, uh, which is awesome. Um, Harad is there, they're lurking around. <laughs> Um, Amandir is just hanging out over here. That's cool. Um, yeah, he's deep into enemy territory, really. Uh, so yeah, cool. Um, and that's that. Oh yo yo. Uh, so it's a bit, it's a bit spicy. A bit spicy. Um, turn thirty now. I, I'll, I need to. I don't know what I need to do. I'm, I'm upset about losing territory, and um, I just got too cocky. But I'll, yes. I'll take it back and. I just hope Misty's not able to really deal me too many more blows like that. Um, you know, the High Elves are really just chilling right now with what they've got, which is fair. Like, but I just, I'd love them to grab. Um, just, I would, I would love them to grab uh, Austin the Field, just so that that cuts off the access to me. You know, no longer can can the Misty Mountains jump at me. I can just focus on Angmar, and yeah, but. Halberad, yes, if he can go on a mincing spree, if we get a good battle in uh, Dead Man's Dyke and just wipe out Drangu, kill, kill Drangu, kill his army and a few of these other plebs around, then that could be great. But all in all, it's money. You know, we, we, we're, we're developing our economy little by little, but it's slow progress. It's really slow progress. And um, 
yeah we could use we could use a, a um like the the game the the game has been really kind to us like the the council has given us so much money the missions we've done really well with getting money from that but um yeah we just oh we just need some cash just need some cash boys yeah well actually no cool anyway uh thanks guys and i will uh see you in the next one